Hello and welcome, my name is Nilo. So this is the sixth installment of my tutorial series for Vanilla Factorio. We are going to dive into the green circuits and in, like the other episodes or the other tutorials, I'll be providing green crisp blueprints that uh, are available. So without further ado, I think I should actually place down the blueprint. There is kind of the merit to saying, maybe I'll just say a few words about it while, while I build it. So. Green circuits is a strange beast because in the beginning you don't really need a lot. You need a bit for insertos and you know random stuff. It's it's not that bad. But as you progress through the game, mid game if you go solar and late game if you don't go solar with blue circuits, you just need a stupid amount. And then you start getting to the trouble of looking at electronic circuits. It takes one iron plate and three copper cables. That's one and a half copper plates. So you can start spending a lot of your raw copper and iron just on the green circuits which kind of drains everything else so in this case i'll be uh, feeding in four yellow lines of copper and two yellow lines of iron that is kind of overscaling on the copper side because it only really needs three lines but i can't really i can but it doesn't make any sense for me to say half a line out here so i'll take a full line in any case so that's all this that means kind of if, if this is fully up and running it will drain everything on the bus let's start building this not hooking it up though not just yet yeah that's the outbind of the greens so you can kind of see what's going on okay let's start building oops Wow, this is not going very well. And I'll explain kind of the merits. I don't know why I'm building from the outside. So this will be the copper going on the outside. Now let's build sort of the middle one. This, this will be where we have the green circuits. And the reason why I'm doing it like this, let me just draw first the green circuit lines. This is a green circuit line. So I'm placing it. I'm just placing these as well. Oh, smashing on top of everything else. I'll just build this so we can walk through it a bit better. Okay, power. That is coils, and this is the actual circuits. Great. Let's look at where it's inserted. It's inserting higher on the outside. And that's actually, this prevents me from actually needing any yellow inserter or any red inserters. And I think that's a good thing. If I now consider it because they are slower and they're not as balanced. So if I scale things for the blue inserters, then suddenly it won't work with red inserters. Now, Let's talk output. This one's outputting to a separate line. So they're not trying to put into a belt line that's already full with like long inserters here. They're inputting here. These are then being merged into. So we will we'll get a 50-50 split here, which basically ensures compression on these belts. And that's really important that we can ensure compression if I want to scale it up to like the big size. And that means on the inbound side, here we have there. This will be the iron coming in. I could sort of make it. Uh, that's actually wrong. I just like yeah, that looks wrong. Up, up. Yes. So the iron comes in here, easy to pick up. It also needs to be able to pick up. That comes in as two red lines. And then this whole thing is, is actually operational. Should we start actually? I think I have an idea. I have an idea. I don't know if it works. Yep, it does work. Ha! Cool. Because that will allow me to actually load everything up at once. And I'll do this. Boom. Now it loads up. Let's have a look at how this works. See if I built it correctly. These splitter here make sure that if, as the inner lane gets drained, the outer lane gets split into the inner lane. And you can see here, it just nicely operates. 
coverage quite well. And then comes the part about tileability. You can see here, I can just keep going. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's talk about sort of the saturation here. In order for me, luckily, since there are no modules, if I can consume a single iron belt, then I'm also outputting a single single belt of, uh, of green circuits. And I have two inbound here, two outbound. So it re actually requires quite a lot to be able to consume all of this. But then again, that is consuming two lines of iron and three lines of copper, which is quite significant drain. That's really a late game thing. Anyway, but it, it's important to know that this will scale up. And of course, you just need to leave some room behind it for scaling up or make several parallel to each other. In any case, this one is producing one per second. Why is this not scaling fast enough? Of course. There. All right. Yes. So this is always working. Here we are. And this will be producing one every half second. That's two per second. Two, four, six, eight. A one module produces eight per second. Remember, it's only 0.75. So it produces six per second. One yellow belt is able to contain 13 and a third per second. This is silly numbers, but that's the way it is. So these two belts will be able to transport 26 and two thirds. And since this is producing six per second, that's six, 12, 18, 24. This one will be saturated. One too many. There. If I build this, and in that case, I'll have, to, I should be doing this way. This is saturating two blue, two green belts just with that. And that's kind of a lot. Let's build it the other way. So with this, I can saturate two your two your belts. It'll also then consume all of the all this, and and that's probably too much for a beginner base. But the great thing is, you can do this, and you can also scale it up to red belts inbound, outbound, then scale it further up, double it if it's red belt, of course. Or you can start using the yellow inserters and then that skews the, the setup. In any case, I think this is pretty much a summary of how to build green circuits in in bulk. It works really nice and though it is it is consuming quite a lot. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then leave a like, a comment in the description below, or uh, yeah, and subscribe of course for more content like this and I'll see you in another episode. Cheers.